Tonight, a San Diego family is telling us that UC Davis has confirmed their worst fear. Meatballs they found in their backyard had rat poison inside. That family is devastated after they say their dog died from poisoning. CBS 8 Santa Laurel went to the family's home today that the family now calls a crime scene. The San Diego Humane Society is investigating this case. I went to the home where this happened earlier today and met a woman who says she no longer feels safe to let her other dog roam free in their own backyard anymore. We're still mourning and um, I think it's really difficult on my children to process because we, um, we don't know who did this, but we know that it it was clearly intentional. Rita Olosio's family got brothers Milo and Toby as puppies. I know those two really loved each other. They loved on us as much as we loved on them. One morning last month, they came in from the backyard and Rita says she noticed something very wrong with Toby. He seemed to be very anxious. His eyes were dilated. He started to go into a seizure mode. She raced to the animal hospital. Records show cluster seizures that no medication could control. The doctor had indicated most likely it was uh, due to a poor Poisoning. After hours of seizures, they had to put Toby down. Doctors put Milo on anti-seizure meds just in case. I thought, wow, um, there's a number of things that could have been out here. Once home and heartbroken, Rita started searching her backyard to see if she could find what Toby could have gotten into. These are pictures she took of what she says she discovered, describing what looks like meatballs with a blue coating. I did a Google lens. I took a picture of the meatballs and just a massive amount of information was being poured towards me about toxic meatballs. She kept researching and contacted a doctor at UC Davis with a connection to the San Diego Humane Society. She sent the doctor the balls. This document from UC Davis shows the meatballs tested positive for strychnine. For me, that was a shock because I realized that this may have been planted here. Um, on purpose. Rita called the police and they pointed her to the San Diego Humane Society. Milo now wears a mesh muzzle outside and when he's inside, he lays where his brother Toby used to. To lose more than just a pet, but truly a, a family member that got us through some really hard times. It's devastating beyond words. In San Diego, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.